Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and darkness, asteroid Apophis was discovered in 2004, after which NASA had said that it was one of the asteroids that posed the greatest threat to Earth. Apophis measures 340 meters across, comparable to the size of the huge ship that has currently blocked the Suez Canal. According to a press release shared by the Planetary Defense Conference PDC, Apophis is named after the ancient Egyptian spirit of evil, darkness, and destruction. Astronomy magazine clarifies Apophis is the Greek name given to the Egyptian demon Apep, and notes that co-discoverers Dave Thalen and Roy Tucker may have had a different reason for the name they are fans of the popular sci-fi TV series Stargate SG-1, which features a character named Apophis as its most persistent villain. The USA's NASA Space Agency has ruled out the possibility of the dreaded asteroid Apophis causing any damage to the Earth for the next 100 years. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and darkness, it was discovered in 2004, after which NASA had said that it was one of the the asteroids that posed the greatest threat to Earth. This year, the asteroid flew past Earth on March 5, coming within 17 million kilometers of our planet. During this approach, scientists used radar observations to study in detail the asteroid's orbit around the Sun. It was believed that Apophis come within 32,000 kilometers of Earth on Friday, April 13, 2029, enabling astronomers to get a good look. That is about one-tenth of the distance to the Moon and closer than the communication satellites that encircle the Earth at 36,000 kilometers. NASA says Apophis will first become visible to the EDT, 3.30 a.m. IST, over the Atlantic Ocean. At that point, it will be moving at speed that will see it cross the Atlantic Ocean in an hour. Apophis was predicted to come threateningly close to us in the years 2029 and 2036, but NASA later ruled these events out. There were still fears about a possible collision in 2068 however. In order to track Apophis motion, Astronomers used the 70-meter radio antenna at the Deep Space Network's Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex near Barstow, California. They also used the 100-meter Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia, which showed imaging of Apophis. The two systems were used together in a bi-static experiment that doubled the strength of the received signal. Based on these findings, they were able to rule out any impact risk to Earth from Apophis in 2068 and long after. I-2068 impact is not in the realm of possibility anymore, and our calculations don't show any impact risk for at least the next 100 years, said of NASA's Center for NEAR. With the support of recent optical observations and additional radar observations, the uncertainty in Apophis orbit has collapsed from hundreds of kilometers to just a handful of kilometers when projected to 2029. This greatly improved knowledge of its position in 2029 provides more certainty of its future motion, so we can now remove Apophis from the risk list. The risk list refers to the Century Impact Risk Table maintained by CNEOS, which includes all the asteroids with orbits close to Earth. Radar observations taken at NASA's Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex in California and the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia have officially ruled out an impact in 2068, the only year out of the next 100 that previously showed a slight risk. This new analysis means that Apophis is no longer on the Century Impact Risk Table, which is a list of objects that pass so close by Earth that astronomers have not yet been able to rule out a possible strike. These images show asteroid Apophis during three days of its flyby on March 8, 9 and 10, 2021. Radio antennas at the Deep Space Network's Goldstone Complex in California and the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia worked together to acquire these images. The asteroid was 17 million kilometers away, and each pixel has a resolution of 127 feet. Further analysis of the radar data collected in early March should help astronomers learn what Apophis shape is. 
Previous observations suggest that the asteroid is peanut-shaped, also described as bilobed, or having two lobes, a common shape for near-Earth asteroids. In addition, astronomers hope to learn more about the asteroid's rotation rate and spin state, which might tell them what effects could occur on Apophis during its very close flyby in 2029. As the asteroid encounters Earth's gravitational field in 2029, asteroid quakes could result on Apophis. Apophis is, of course, not the only near-Earth asteroid. In recent years, astronomers have been able to find and track many tiny asteroids sweeping near Earth. For example, on September 24, 2020, asteroid 2020 SW swept even closer to us than our meteorological and television satellites as well as other geostationary satellites, which orbit our planet at some 22,300 miles from Earth's surface. I hope you all liked the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel Space Bites and also click the bell icon to get new video updates.